Well, good afternoon, AP Physics students. Uh, we're going to do another problem for you tonight. Problem 42, uh, Chapter 2. Uh, we've pretty much read through the chapter already, so no lecture, just uh, one more example problem. I'm going to talk about some uh, different parts to uh, kinematics today. Uh, so in problem 42, it looks like we have a stone that gets thrown vertically upwards uh, and then comes back down. Uh, so I got my picture here. I've defined uh, upwards to be the positive direction in my coordinate system, as we often do. Uh, and as I read the problem here, I am told that uh, the stone is initially thrown upward uh, with a speed of 18 meters per second. Uh, so I'm going to write that down. Uh, it doesn't say this specifically, but I'm going to assume the stone is thrown upward from the ground. Or if it's not from the ground, uh, whatever level it's thrown up from, maybe the level of my hand or where it leaves the person throwing it, I'm going to define that to be the zero of my coordinate system. Okay? Um, we are told that the stone rises up to a height of 11 meters. Um, we would also assume that the rock is, uh, you know, on the earth, and therefore its acceleration uh, is a negative 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. Uh, even though the rock is initially moving upwards, uh, it's accelerating downwards since gravity is uh, pulling down. Uh, we don't know a whole lot about the time uh, from the what the problem tells us, nor the final velocity at which um, it... Uh, when it's at 11 meters there, okay? And then part A asks, uh, what is, how fast is it moving when it reaches a height of 11 meters? Uh, so that is part A, and let's solve that next. So we want to know what uh, the final speed V is there. Uh, so looking at my equation sheet and my first three uh, equations, uh, based upon what I know, I am going to go ahead and choose to use equation 3 here uh, because if I use equation 3, I can solve for v squared what I know uh, and I know all the other variables uh, in that equation. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and write this out. v squared equals v naught squared plus 2a um, delta x or x minus x naught. So v squared would be 18 squared plus 2 times negative 9.8 times 11.0. Uh, Here delta x is positive since the rock is moving in the upwards or positive direction. And if I work this all out, I get that v squared is equal to 108.4. Uh, therefore, v must be uh, 10 uh, 0.4 meters per second, and I am uh, done with part A there. All right. Um, okay, so uh, part B says, um, part B says, what does part B say? Part B says, how long is it required to reach the height of 11 meters? Well, I don't know. Uh, I want to know time. I now know V, V naught, A, and T. How about I use equation number one, uh, V equals V naught plus A times T. And if I plug in 10.4 uh, equals 18.0 plus negative 9.8 times T. Um, this is a plus sign, that's the letter T. Uh, I could go ahead and solve this for T and I would get uh, subtract 18 Direct 18, negative 7.6 equals negative 9.8t, divide by negative 9.8, and I get t is equal to uh, 0 0.78 seconds, uh, which uh, seems reasonable. All right. Boy, this problem, man, we're going to finish this video early. We are almost done. This is awesome. Perfect. Oh, good stuff. Okay, uh, part C. What does part C say? Man, this video, this is just going fast, man. Oh, part C. Why are there two answers to part B? Part So C says, why are there two answers to part B? Wait a minute. There's not two answers to part B. I only have one answer to part B. What is going on here? I don't have two answers. Man, I'm going to have to look at this problem a little more closely here. Um, 
I'm going to an analyze this uh, problem with some graphs here. Let's graph this object's position versus time, okay? It starts at the ground, it goes up, and it comes, oh, that calling, uh, and it comes back down, okay? Um, so one thing you should note is that in uh, free fall motion, when you have constant acceleration, a position versus time graph will yield a nice symmetrical parabola, okay? So that is one thing uh, that uh, you should know, all right? Um, so, if we have uh, time zero here, uh, and this is some high position here, I will see that um, there's actually going to be two points at which you might reach a distance of um, 11 meters, okay? Uh, two points at which you might get uh, a distance of 11 meters. So, there are going to be two different times at which that occurs, all right? Uh, another way to um, look at this would be to um, go ahead and look at um, part A here, all right? Part A says um, that V squared is equal to uh, 108.4, okay? Well, really, that means that V could be plus or minus 10.4 uh, meters per second, okay? Plus or minus, all right? Uh, so that would be another indication there um, of why we might have two different answers. Now, in the end here, um, I'm going to have to solve for uh, the time at which um, I get those two speeds. All right. Uh, another way to look at this would be to look at a graph of velocity versus time. Okay. Uh, this uh, object starts with a positive velocity of plus 18 meters per second, and at some time later uh, gets down to a velocity of maybe negative 18 meters per second, right before uh, it hits the ground, okay? Um, so, uh, it's always good, uh, and just to finish things off here, let's look at an acceleration um, graph too. All right, here the acceleration would be a constant negative 9.8. So sometimes when you're working on a problem, the algebra might lead you astray. So make sure you always have a diagram, your variables, uh, your graphs, and um, algebra that could all come together to give you two possible answers. So uh, one way to solve this problem would be to go up here and uh, use the equation V equals V naught plus AT to solve for a second time. So you would plug in negative 10.4 meters per second. So in other words, this, um, to your original equation, okay? And uh, you could solve for time. And if you did that, you'd get 2.90 seconds. Okay, you could also use the equation x equals x naught plus v zero t plus one half a t squared, get the equation of this parabola, and use the quadratic equation to solve for um, your two times. All right, so, um, so these are the two times uh, that you would need in your answer to part C. And uh, that is about uh, nine minutes uh, worth of video there. Um, so hope that helps you out uh, with your uh, homework uh, for problem 42. For your joke today, uh, it's a little bit of a brainy joke, uh, and it goes something like this. Uh, so Rene Descartes walks into a bar and has a drink. The bartender says, hey, Rene, can I get you another drink? He says, I think not, and he disappears. <laughs> oh, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, all right, nice work, AP Physics students. We'll see you tomorrow.